It took only 35 minutes. 7.45, we had the storm of the earthquake started. And by 8.20, we had the eruption visible at the surface. This is how it started. And you can see through it. I will show you here quick, actually. And uh, as you see, it started and moved, the fissure moved southward. The uh, movement of it is quite visible in this time lapse that I've created here now. And it was quite uh, energetic, vibrant. Look at that. The height of the magma fountain is actually quite high. It reached uh, in less than two, three hours the defensive wall of Grindavik toward the east, where it is now. I predicted that we go that uh, direction, and it went. And surprise, surprise, before that even, I predicted that uh, the defensive wall should be built in that area. And I'm happy that they did that, actually. That's the area that we have the peninsula, and that peninsula is actually lava delta itself. The swarm of the earthquakes is uh, continuing at the moment, and the eruption is continuing. Watch the video I made before that about this defensive wall. December 2023, an eruption in the Sundunka crater field of the Reckoness Peninsula shocked the world. This volcano erupted right to a geothermal uh, power plant, one of the first in the world. And in January 2024, a second eruption burned parts of the town of the Grindavik. But if it was not for the expertise and the designs of two wonderful daughters of Iceland, this would have been a disaster. They designed walls for the Fagradestville eruption, and they did it here again. And a flotilla of the machinery and contractors implemented their plans, built the wall around the Swartzengi power plant and to the north of the uh, town of the Grindavik. And when the day of the eruption happened, this is what happened. We had the fissure coming from the north in the Hagerfell toward the town, opening up the ground in real time, slicing through part of the wall even. But the miracle of the wall stopped the spread of the lava. The lava followed the counter of the wall that these contractors in real time were actually working again on it and stopped it at the point. The solidified part of the lava formed another wall. Based on that and inspired by that, I uh, figured out where it may be the next eruption. In this area we are going for that now at the moment and uh, I suggested that the north of the Hagerfall will this time witness the eruption and it's quite possible a tongue of the lava from the east of the Grindavik will flow toward the peninsula to the north top of this image and here we are we have now the designs for a new wall toward the east of the Grindavik. This is the SAR images from the German uh, Space Agency. You can see that. A new defensive wall to the east where the lava flow potentially will flow from that toward the sea from the north of the Hagerfall, following the counter of the ground, will protect the Grindavik. You can see their design from the space. And every tourist who enters the aerospace of the Iceland over the peninsula, we'll see that also. A new wall will be added to that to protect the town.